Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update's video on the tropics. I hope that you're all doing great today. And in this video, we will be talking about what is happening across the North Atlantic in terms of the tropical waves and a cold front that is uh, affecting sections of the Northwestern Caribbean. And over in the Eastern Pacific, we will be talking about Tropical Storm Roslyn, which is expected to be a hurricane and is an imminent threat to land. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics. And to share support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. All right, and so let's go ahead and begin with the imminent threat. So that is Tropical Storm Roslyn. And so we're looking at the cyclone right now on infrared satellite. And we can see that the outer bands have begun affecting portions of Mexico. And so we're even seeing where an eye feature is trying to develop within the cyclone. And I mean, it is approaching hurricane strength. So that is not really surprising. And the cyclone is expected to continue to strengthen as it makes its way towards the uh, the coast of Mexico and so let's go ahead and take a look at what is expected so this cone forecast here is depicting so much information on the cyclone so uh, the maximum sustained winds of Roslyn are currently at 65 miles per hour and the cyclone is accelerating to the west northwest at 7 miles per hour and we see that by Sunday it is going to be approaching the coast of Mexico and will likely be bringing along with it those very dangerous those very very life-threatening conditions and so uh, we're seeing some areas here highlighted and these are indicating watches and warnings and so first up let's talk about the hurricane warning so that is in effect for Playa Peru Lato Cabo Corrientes and that is highlighted in red so those areas are expected to uh, experience hurricane conditions from the cyclone and uh, conditions should start deteriorating and uh, tropical storm conditions are likely within this area within the next uh, 36 hours or so and then hurricane watch now that is in pink that is in effect for north of Cabo Corrientes to El Robrito and then also for Las Islas Marias. So hurricane conditions are possible within these areas uh, within around the next 48 hours or so. And then in blue, there is a tropical storm warning that is in effect for south of Playa Perula to Manzanillo. So uh, tropical storm conditions are likely within the next 36 hours across these regions. And so as I said, Roslyn is going to be bringing very dangerous conditions. So that storm surge inundating coastal areas as well as those strong winds and then the heavy rainfall as the cyclone accelerates inland and so after it makes landfall it is going to be rapidly weakening because of course it is cut off from its fuel which is those very warm sea surface temperatures and so uh, without that it is just going to be dissipated but nonetheless it is going to be bringing those dangerous conditions and in terms of the peak winds expected so Roslyn is expected to make landfall shy of a major hurricane so I personally wouldn't be surprised if it manages to actually intensify into a major hurricane but uh, nonetheless conditions are going to be uh, quite dangerous across these sections of Mexico that are expected to face landfall and when we look at the environment ahead of Roslyn here so looking at the wind shear we're seeing that we have some green lines in the region and those green lines are indicating favorable wind shear whereas the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable so Roslyn is in a favorable environment for the most part in terms of the wind shear and then definitely for the sea surface temperature so we're seeing uh, this 29 Celsius isotherm, 28 Celsius, and some areas of uh, 30 degrees Celsius at the max. And so tropical cyclones just need 26.5 Celsius in order to uh, be in what is considered a favorable environment for intensification. So Roslyn definitely has that in place. And uh, we can see here where it is likely that the cyclone would, will just keep strengthening as what is anticipated. So if you're in Mexico, please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe. And do not take any unnecessary risks because uh, especially in terms of all that rainfall, that is usually the problem with any landfall and tropical cyclone. It is the water beat from the surge or the inland flooding due to the heavy rainfall, guys. So please stay safe. Okay, and so let's now drift over into the Atlantic Basin. And here we're going back to infrared satellites. And there we have our nice little cold front that is extended from portions of Central America into the Caribbean and then out 
in the Atlantic, where we're having that upper level cyclonic rotation. That is where uh, we see some showers and thunderstorms, uh, a bit of activity within the region in terms of it. And uh, some of that might affect sections of the Lesser Antilles, but for the most part, things are likely going to be quite sunny through most of today for majority of the islands. So uh, you can let me know in the comments what's happening in your region. But let's go ahead and get on with that cold front. And so we're seeing here that uh, we have quite a bit of activity in association with it. We see quite a bit of showers and thunderstorms being produced. We see a lot of that over sections of the uh, Bahamas, over portions of the Bahamas in Turks and Caicos islands and even across some sections of western Haiti as well and so other areas such as the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba and territories of Central America are likely going to be feeling impacts as the front stalls in the region because it is now a stationary front actually which means that it is not moving as the name suggests and so uh, it's going to be gradually weakening and dissipating over the next several days in the area so that is what is up ahead for that system and so let's go ahead and drift to that uh, other tropical wave out there and so here we're seeing so much activity out in the Atlantic and uh, the tropical wave is right within this region here so we're seeing a lot of showers and thunderstorms but uh, this is not marked as a disturbance let me get that clear so there are no marked disturbances as of right now across the region and so as we go ahead and take a look at this water vapor loop right here. We have the yellows and the oranges that indicate dry air. Meanwhile, we have those whites and the different shades of green that indicates uh, moisture. And so there we're having all that moisture along that uh, boundary of the front where we see that shower and thunderstorm activity taking place. And we also see moisture extended across sections of the South Caribbean and in association with the tropical wave that is out in, uh, in the Atlantic. And so uh, dry conditions though are behind that uh, frontal boundary as well as across some portions of the Caribbean. We see northern Venezuela, the ABC Islands, and a majority of the Lesser Antilles that have dry stable conditions in the vicinity of them. But again, uh, those passing showers and thunderstorms are possible as we're going to be heading throughout today for, for that area. And then we also see some uh, dry air across portions of the North Atlantic. And so that is what is happening right now across the North Atlantic Basin. Nothing very, very major going on right now, but the main treat of this video was of course Tropical Storm Rosalind because it is an imminent threat to Mexico and will be bringing along with it some very dangerous conditions. We have that cold front that is that is impacting sections of the Northwestern Caribbean and uh, we also have those tropical waves out in the Atlantic. None are expected to become tropical cyclones. And so I'll be keeping you guys updated as time goes by. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.